Hey everybody, Mike Fisk here with another word of daily encouragement for you from God's Word. Today's verses come from Psalm 129, verses 1 through 4, which say, From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. Let all Israel repeat this. From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. But they have never defeated me. My back is covered with cuts as if a farmer had plowed long furrows. But the Lord is good. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. You know, there's a lot of times, and I think right now, especially with the culture in our our uh, country, uh, a lot of times when there's a lot of ridicule, a lot of uh, misunderstandings, a lot of uh, attacks, verbally, physically, uh, spiritual attacks going on. And uh, sometimes, you know, maybe you just feel like there's, what are you going to do? You, you try hard, you're misunderstood, you're attacked for your beliefs, you're attacked for uh, your stand on things, uh, you're ridiculed. Uh, you read the Bible, you pray, you uh, try to do the best you can at spreading the love of Jesus, and you're just accused of being intolerant, of being uh, out of touch with society. Uh, you know, um, I think maybe that's kind of what the psalmist was talking about. I can't imagine the word picture here, where he says, you know, my back is like, has scars like long furrows, like a farmer plowed a field. I think what he's really saying here is about the pain he's got, you know, I don't know that they were physical scars. I wonder if they weren't uh, spiritual and emotional scars of the continual attack by other people. I'm afraid that we're going to be seeing more and more of that. And as a Jesus follower, we need to realize two things. It's kind of a good news, bad news situation if you're following Jesus right now. The bad news first, because I always like to get the bad news first. It's kind of like dessert, best comes later. But the bad news is that life is going to be hard. I think as we go into this upcoming darkness of hatred, I think we're going to see more and more persecution against the church. I really do. That's just me. But uh, the other side of that is we will never be defeated. You know, the psalmist says, uh, you know, I, I've been attacked verbally my entire life. I've been under attack and everything. The Apostle Paul said that. He says, I've been beaten down. I've been persecuted. But both of them say this. They say, but I will endure. I will be victorious. Not because of my strength, but because God works in me. And right now it's hard for us to understand why God could be in control of this mess. But he is. And darkness is going to be trying to attack us. But remember what Jesus said. He said, the gates of hell will not prevail against his church. I believe God is calling us as a church to rise up, not physically, not violently, certainly, but to rise up spiritually, to share the hope and the love that only Jesus can give. Because right now, we're being governed by hatred. And I don't think that's going to get any easier after uh, January 20th. We need to remember and to realize our faith comes not from a person, not from a government, not from culture, but from Jesus Christ. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Nobody is going to change that. The psalmist closes with, I think, a great promise. He says this, But the Lord is good. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. I think that has both a present and a future meaning to it. First of all, uh, we are cut free now spiritually. We can trust God. We don't need to mess with the others. The other part of it is that someday we will be victorious. Someday God will be victorious. It says every knee will bow. Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, every knee will bow before Jesus. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully you are too. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Have a great day. Sorry this one took a little bit longer, but that's what's on my heart. Uh, we'll see you next time.